G'day chaps and welcome back. I am carrying on now. So I've, I've actually waited a, a week to play this. I've been releasing the episodes over the course of the week. So you're up to date now. You've just watched the last one before I carry on. So we're at Timberwolf Mountain. We're in the cave. We are heading up the mountain. If I remember rightly. So I've dropped the, uh, the guts and the... Uh, Hide. We have about six hours of daylight left. I've come through the tunnel. So if you watched the last episode, how can I describe it? Basically the, the part where we climbed up is that direction. I've, I've walked through the cave since the end of the last episode and that's all I've done. I've also turned up the sound a lot. I thought that would be nicer for you, more immersive. So I've made it louder for myself also. Okay, so what we're going to do, we are heading up the mountain. Basically, it's that simple. Um, I'm not going to sleep or anything like that because we've got six hours of daylight left. I need that, really. So we've got tons of fire starting stuff. That's good. We've got loads of painkillers, antibiotics, we've got bandages, even an emergency stim. Our clothes aren't great, but they're all we've found so far. We're almost out of food completely. We have a climbing rope. We have all the tools we need, really. Um, we can also repair our clothes. We have five cloth. We have stuff to study and read. And we can burn one of those books because we have a double. So we've, we're as good as we can be, basically. We're, at, I, you know, for interloper. I'm actually amazed that uh, things are this good. I wouldn't have predicted it. So, the other thing I've done is, I've, uh, as well as making it louder for you in the game, I've made this much louder for myself in the earphones and I'm going to try to remember to keep on talking while we get into it. It's beautiful weather. Look at that, just perfect. I've been dying to play this. I really have. I've been waiting all week. <laughs> I've been actually thinking about this playthrough on the, during my work week. I've been looking forward to it that much. I'm really excited. I want to know what happens. This has become a story for me as much as you. And uh, in the past I've got um, impatient with series and I've wanted to play on without waiting to record. So my, my series have always been kind of short. But with this one I thought, okay, let's it's interloper. Let's honour it by um, doing it right. So I'm going to go as long as I can go with this series. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm actually missing out on a lot of other stuff that I could be covering. I haven't covered Star Citizen, the last Citizen Con, at all. Um, we also had a really interesting day today. We went to a virtual reality cafe. cafe. It's called That VR Joint in Melbourne. And uh, I went to see it myself. They have Oculus. They have uh, HTC Vive. They have Galaxy Gear. And they have the Oculus set up on a racing game. And it's just brilliant. I had the best, best time. And I took my wife because I wanted to show her what virtual reality was. Because I've been talking about it for months. Yeah, that looked like food. Looked good condition too. That's good. Save that. Got three copies of that book now. So how heavy are we? We're 36.88, so we're still under the weight limit. Five hours of daylight left. We have no reason to hang around. No reason to go that way. This is a dead end. So the weather has turned. That's interesting. So the sky has changed from the time we came into this cave to now. And now it's starting to snow. So the weather's just turned. That sucks. Ooh, and it almost looks like there's a storm coming in quite quickly. So I'm not going to pick... It's coming in very quickly, actually. Hmm. But I really don't want to... I have to move. I have to move. I have to get to the top. Even if the... Even if a blizzard comes in, there's one cave only? Fuck, and it's changing fast. Look at it. You can watch the weather coming in. I don't like this at all. I'll get back to talking about 
VR. Once um, we kind of, once I'm less nervous, because I know there are no caves around here, so I really don't want to get hit by a storm. That's crazy. From one hour to the next, conditions change that much, and I'm going to risk hypothermia. I'm not going to stop to start a fire because now it's all about speed. Um, the other thing I can't afford to do. Oh, I hope I've gone the right direction. I'm pretty sure I have. The other thing I, I can't afford to do is run. Oh, it's that wind is picking up. Temperatures dropping. Fuck. Fuck. This is not good. This is not good, people. But as I said, I can't run. So, oh, it's minus 28. Yeah, we're in a full-blown blizzard. Fuck. We're just gonna have to push through it, I'm afraid. We have no choice. We're too far away to um, get back to the cave we came from. We're just gonna have to go for it. I don't think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have any coffee either. It's not good. This is the kind of uh, welcome I was expecting from Timberwolf Mountain, I suppose. On this setting, this is the... it's just ridiculous. And I've been... Uh, people have been telling me in the comments and on Reddit that the longer you play Interloper, the more like this it becomes. Just unpredictable, violent. So the main thing we're concerned about is our energy. So I've made sure that I've not run, I've used any of our energy. So hopefully we'll just be able to scale this in one go. God, can you just imagine these conditions? Actually being out there, stuck, climbing a mountain by yourself in a storm. It's just scary. Okay, so we made it. That was... That was mission critical. We are 12% risk of hypothermia. See, now I can afford to run. And we are running towards whatever it's called, deer clearing? Deer something. And I know for a fact there's a cave there, so it's not far. We're going to use one of our um, accelerators. We're going to get a fire started immediately. We're going to bed down, we're going to sleep, we're going to warm up. Just get past this risk of hypothermia. And then we'll see how the day progresses. So, I, if I hug the wall on the right hand side here, pretty sure I'm going to find it. It's a deer clearing. I think it's straight ahead. Yeah, I can see it. I think. Can I? We're at 23% risk of hypothermia now. One in four chance every second gives us... Oh, there it is. Every second out in this cold gives us a higher chance of hypothermia, so... Let's get in here as soon as we can. And I'm going to run right straight back to the back of the cave, where it's warmest. And it's and because of the storm, it's still minus seven, even in the cave, so this is an emergency. We're gonna run right to the back, still minus seven. We're gonna crouch down, start a fire. Just gonna quickly oh where are they? Where's my accelerators? Oh yeah. I'll explain why I did that in a minute. So matches. Just start it as soon as we can. And then chuck the big pieces of wood on. Our sticks. Gone for five hours. We've gone for. Oh, that's probably overkill. But I wanted to make sure we got the temperature up. So, okay, we're at, mo we're at plus 12. Yeah, we're safe. Okay, we made it. Up your thermia risk 33%. That was close. That was close. That was very close. Okay. 
but we're safe. Ah, that's what I did. So I dropped the accelerant that's in much better condition, 74%. I wanted to use the bad one, so that's why I um, quickly went into my inventory there. Alright, having uh, made it this far, which was scary in itself, let's bed down for a little bit. I'm not going to worry about hunger right now because we'll still our condition will still improve. I'm going to sleep in single hour chunks only because we want to get to the next stage or at least explore deer clearing before we push on. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So, three hours of daylight left. I'm going to... I think food is probably a good idea. So... We saw a carcass, but that was before we climbed up. So I'm going to leave that burning. It's going for four hours. So we uh, we survived the emergency. The storm is over. We are safe. And now my uh, I've kind of gone back to thinking about food and just the you know the basic stats, the stuff we have in our inventory. It's still cold out here, but it's not too bad. Oh fuck me! Okay, I'm wrong. 22 degrees. Yeah, screw that. Can't stay out for long in that. We'll sleep another hour. And we'll just get maybe some scavenging time before the uh, night comes in. Actually... We should probably use the light, the daylight while we have it. I'm going to study something. So, this one improves fire starting skill by 10 points. I really want that. So I'm going to research that for the next two hours. Okay. Let's just see. Alright. We've got two hours left on the fire. I'll take the bedroll with me just in case, because I'm paranoid. But um, I'm just going to go on a quick scavenging mission. I want to see if we can find anything food-wise. Food, food I'm really tired, but that's okay. And we've got plenty of fuel, haven't we? Yeah, we've got four coal, five air. Yeah. yeah, we've got loads. Okay, so let's just go see if we get lucky, find a carcass basically what I'm looking for because I want to avoid using what are our last reserves of food basically. So I'm just going to do a quick recce. I'm going to scavenge anything we can find. So it's much warmer now. It's minus 12 only. I've had so many uh, gaming memories here. I once slept under that ledge directly in front of us. This was the early days on Timberwolf Mountain when I didn't know where the cave was. Slept right outside it in a storm. So yeah, back to this VR thing. Um, my wife absolutely loved it. She thought it was brilliant. Because she'd never ever tried virtual reality before in her life. And, you know, I've been going on about it for ages and everybody knows I'm a gaming nerd. So I thought, right. I'm going to show you that it's not just about gaming. I'm going to show you what it's really about. Um, so they they have this... They have the Galaxy Gear set up. I can hear birds. Which means there's a carcass. Where were they? So they have a Galaxy Gear set up. For you to um, watch like these little movies on. And that's to just kind of demonstrate the movie playing potential. Keeping my eyes and ears open here too. We're getting cold. I'm just checking up here to make sure there's no bear because I know this is the bear's route. So I'm not actually intending to go that way yet. That's tomorrow's route. No. That goes up. It's actually... I just wanted to check that there's no bear behind us walking towards us. So I'm kind of 
covering off the roots so that I know we've got visibility over everything. So yeah, they got the movies, and then they've got uh, racing on the Oculus Rift with a, I think it's a PlayStation, um, like a driving set, steering wheel and uh, pedals. It's fantastic. It gives you haptic feedback as well, so you actually get the feeling of the car through the pedals and the uh, and the wheel. And then they have the. Uh, the vibe with the hand um, paddles and you just get to try out some game demos with the hand paddles in this 3D space and it's fucking brilliant absolutely loved it my wife had a, a couple of those true wow moments as well I'll take the cloth, I'll leave the metal so yeah I took some footage of that also so I'm going to kind of just talk about the experience over the video and then splice it together and I'll publish it on the channel. So I hope you're, you're interested in watching that. Now there is more... I've climbed up here in the past. So I think there are more containers on the top. We're, we're at risk of getting cold again. Did I just hear a wolf? Yep. Shit. Fuck, it's coming for me. Oh, you motherfucker. Cold. Well, shit. I'm going to climb up here and see if he can't get us. Because I know there's this little route up here. Oh, he's ignored us. It worked. That's insane. And we're freezing to death. I really want to get this. And I don't want to fuck around here tomorrow. Shit, does it not work anymore? It used to be this little... It wasn't an ex exploit, I suppose. It's um, let's just call it a night. We got lucky with that wolf. And I think those containers are pretty useless anyway. We're too cold. So let's just call it quits. I'm going to run back to the cave. Let's play it safe. Uh, yeah, so my wife had one of those real wow moments, and I think I recorded it. Yeah, that's cool. I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was great. Definitely recommend it. It's, it's, and there's a so that one was called for anyone in Melbourne. It's called that VR joint, and it's very, very basic, very simple, but it works. They've got all the tech. Um, and there's another one that I want to try as well. Uh, I forget the name of it for the moment, but you actually you're in this zombie game, and you work as a team. You're in this warehouse, like a physical room warehouse. So it's quite a big space, and you go along. It's a team activity, and you play through together. And you have to coordinate. And what they do is they take these extremely powerful gaming laptops and they actually strap them to people's backs and then you've got the oculus rift on and you're given this kind of prop gun and yeah you have to shoot the zombies and you have to walk around together and do all this shit it's crazy but brilliant so i want to go try that too zero latency that's what it's called it's also in melbourne north melbourne so 24% of hypothermia. I'm just going to chuck some more stuff on the fire and then um, head down. We should probably eat what we have. An hour left. Let's see. See, the firewood is heavy. So let's just chuck that on. We should. There's no point heating that up because we're warming up anyway. So let's just let's just eat what we got. I really want to save those cattails in that um, bar. Might have to eat the bar though, because we're going to need calories tomorrow. And I should probably cook up some water. This is just housekeeping, basic housekeeping. I need to sleep though to stop the condition loss, because it's still going down quite quickly. I'm just eating to make sure that we recover as much as we can before we bed down. So I have to sleep first, and then we can make some water. 
in that order because oh, we need all our condition if we're going to actually make it to the top. So I'll just go one hour of sleep. That should mean we're not hurting anymore. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we're drained, but we've still got a little energy. And um, we'll probably... Two and a half litres is usually the what I go with. I hope you can hear the music now. Now I've turned it up. It's so beautiful. Okay, that's just about perfect. So I'm going to sleep three hours. The fire's going to burn for two and a half. Just want to make sure we're warm enough. Once I'm confident we're going to be warm enough in the back of the cave without a fire, then I'll I'll sleep right through. I'll get our condition up as high as we can get it. Just want to make sure we're not getting colder. So it's minus six. You see? I was right. It feels like minus six, and the warmth bonus from the sleeping bag is only 4.5, so the, the more we sleep, the colder we're going to get. So I'm going to sleep one hour. Let's just see how bad it is. We'll probably have to start another fire. You've really got to be careful. If you're, um, yeah, we're getting colder. So it's minus eight now. Let's see if we can make it through without starting a fire. Just to see if we can get away with it. Let's see if the temperature improves if we sleep one hour. If we're too cold, obviously we'll start a fire. But I want to save those resources if we can. Now, no matter what we do, yeah, we're nearly numb, so it's getting colder again, so now we have no choice. Go for one of the matches, and I can burn one of these Survive the Outdoors books, because we've, uh, we've already researched, well, we have more than one, basically. And that should mean we don't need to use accelerant and it should start fairly quickly. I'm just going to chuck on, uh, what should I do? The reclaimed wood, I suppose. Can't feel my feet. That's going to be the least, it's the least valuable from what I have, so let's use that first. The cedar firewood is good because it's got a high chance of starting. And the coal burns very hot, so we want to keep that. So we've got 240, 242 on the fire. I'm going to sleep for three hours. That should be enough. So I want to take us through to daylight and make sure that we're warm enough and then we can just sleep without having to burn any more fuel. It's plus five. Our energy is getting pretty good. And again, I want to sleep till... Oh shit, what's this? It's just fog. We can handle fog. It's fucking shit. It's another fucking... Don't believe it. Another storm. Okay, so I'm going to drop the book. We can research. I'm going to do the same again. This is just life and death. We have to burn what we have. 95% chance of starting. Perfect. So as before, I'll run to maybe about half an hour. I mean, we're up to 25. I mean, I might might be a good place to start this episode, actually, once the storm has passed and before we set off up the next part of the mountain. Because we cross a bear's route, I know that for certain. And it's a long way. It's, it's really quite far, so... We're going to have to make sure we're in the best condition we can be. Let's make sure we put some fuel on that fire. Use the rest of our reclaimed wood. One of our cedars. It's starting to go low. It's not good. Let's just, burn. Let's just do a little more water. We may be here for a while. Oh shit, we're still getting colder. 
Damn, that is brutal. Alright. So we need to use our coal now. Fuck. I don't want to throw my torches on. Or any of my books. I think it's okay. I dropped my... I dropped a book there. So I had two books. This is the one that I could still research. So we're at minus four. If I sleep, that should take us just above freezing to death. Let's just see. What I need to do is chuck my coal on, because that's much hotter. Okay. Okay, we're okay. Let's drink. Alright, if we chuck our coal on now, we should start warming up. Let's have a look. Okay, we're at minus three, minus four. Okay, we're safe. We're going to have to eat the last of our food, I think. So, I'm just aiming to get our condition up as high as we can get it. I'll boil up the rest of this water, maybe a tiny bit more. And just let the storm pass. Good news is our weight is getting nice and low as we use up our resources. It's going to make us much more effective tomorrow. So, we're good, we were prepared. This is why we have stuff. And I think we're going to see it out without a problem. And then we can go about our business. I'm going to sleep it out. I want to make sure we're as rested as can be. So we've got two hours left on the fire. Let's sleep those two hours. Oh shit. Nine hours of daylight left. This is when we want to stop sleeping. Eight hours of daylight left. Perfect. Stop. Okay. Okay. We're good. We have enough water, our weight is good. It's probably warm enough outside. Let's get our bedroll. Which is left on that 45 minutes. Take a brand. What the hell? And off we set. Too much stuff to carry. I think this will do. I'll stop the episode here. This is the start of a new day. Eight hours of daylight left and We'll see what happens in the next one. Ciao for now.